Steve's right. There, there are reasons that the market is selling off. We've seen these tech names perform tremendously well. It looks like they've reached some unsustainable prices. Whether that ends today or tomorrow, I don't think anybody knows when that happens. But the risk-reward trade-off between growth and value has certainly been pushed to, to a great divergence level. And so we have used the latest moves in markets in tech to kind of take money out of momentum, move money into some of the cyclical laggers. We're not making meaningful moves. This is, this is at the margin we're making moves. So that's some of the actions that we're taking. Um, you know, rebalancing, removing some out of beta, raising a little cash. And it's just an acknowledgement that some of these dichotomies, some of these dispersions, I mean, growth has outperformed value by 43%. That was one of, that's one of the largest in history. It's a huge dichotomy. And I think it's just a matter of prudence uh, to kind of tap the brakes. I use this analogy, and Jenny has a, a, another creative child's analogy. So I got crushed today, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you my uh, portfolio balance. It's, ugh, I'm embarrassed to show this to the world, but uh, this is a good time to buy. This is a good time to buy. So yeah, I'm down. What is that? Nine grand. Nine grand today. <laughs> so sign up. Sign up for one of the uh, like Bitcoin accounts or what is it? Sign up for Coinbase or uh, Robinhood so I can make some money back. No, I'm kidding. I think this is actually a great time to buy. Um, so I am putting in orders to buy Nvidia. So like I actually look at my biggest losers, and that's usually where I uh, add to my position. So Nvidia, I feel like is long term a great stock. So I did put in orders to buy Nvidia. CRISPR. Uh, I was mentioning Tesla. I was able to buy Tesla for 407, and um, hopefully if it goes under 400, I think you guys can average in. Um, you know, if you're only investing like a thousand dollars, I wouldn't go into Tesla. I've made videos about ETFs that are much cheaper um, and less volatile than Tesla. But yeah, it's been a, a brutal day for me so far. Um, and the only stock that I bought, and I'm like kicking myself that I, I wish I bought more, and it's just like easy money stock, I, I should probably make another video, is Carnival. Um, I think the cruise line industry is just a great business and it might be down for like a little bit, but long term that's another stock that i feel like if you haven't bought in and it's cheap what is it like 17 dollars right now that's that's a great stock to hold long term it's not going to go out and i feel like there's a lot of boomers and people with a lot of assets that you know before they die and give the rest of their kids they're gonna probably spend a good chunk of it on cruise lines um and let's go ahead and finish out that video um and uh, let me see, let's not leave crypto down. So Bitcoin's down today, that's hilarious. Uh, if someone on the channel could tell me what Polkadot is, I need to uh, update myself. I have no clue what Polkadot or Chainlink is. I know all the other cryptos because they've been around for a while. So uh, I will make a video researching both of those or <laughs> educate myself. Um, but let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the... Uh, video that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, here we go. The Fed came and pushed us on our bicycle and we got a lot of momentum and we're going down the hill and I think it's just time to touch your feet to the floor and make sure you're balanced. How do you get that balance? By a little rebalancing, a little repositioning, but not a complete abandonment of uh, the strategies that you've had in place. Jenny, the party's been going on all summer long, really since March, and maybe the punch bowl is a little dry. Do you think it will get refilled or is the punch bowl getting taken away for a longer period? You know, I think that we need to think about broadening, the broadening of the market. So I don't even think it's the punch bowl empty or full unless you're talking about just the top part of the market that's really led and dragged us to these new highs. So. When I think about the punch bowl for the broader market, for all 500 companies in the S&P 500, it's there. It's still a bit available. We can drink from it. Um, I think that I think that what we're seeing right now is the, is probably the end of the insanity. 
this punch bowl stuff is just, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to let the video finish. <laughs> so the only other thing I wanted to add, if you're looking to buy stocks or if you have uh, not, you know, you're looking at ETFs to consider. And I believe these ETFs are down. So I'll go ahead and just show um, some ETFs that I'm buying. Um, so let's go ahead and switch it. Give me one sec. All right, here we go. So I mentioned this in a previous video. I'm sure it's down a bunch today. Yeah, it's like ARC. This is a great one. It's down 7% today. I really like this ETF. So consider uh, looking at to this one. Um, there's a couple of other ones I really like. Another one is ACT. If you haven't considered, and these are all like cheap ETFs. I mean, you're not going to have to. I mean, if you have a Robinhood with 100 bucks, you can easily um, buy it. So let me put on the next one, ACT. So this is a great ETF. It's a uh, weed. Uh, it's not down that much because it's a thing, but look, keep a lookout for this one. Um, let me show you guys the holdings. Um, but I really like Louis Vuitton just because every girl I know loves to waste their money. But this is on uh, weed and alcohol, which I think is a great business. Um, it didn't go down much, so it's stable. But keep keep your eyes out for uh act um but the arc etf is probably hit bad so if you can i would definitely consider buying some shares and then the other one that i like um and i actually bought some this morning i've mentioned this in previous videos it's it's a stable stock you see it's not that volatile or it's not getting crushed but this is a gaming etf and we'll show you the holdings uh one of my favorite stocks what is it DraftKings? where is it right there five percent but uh, gambling's not going to go away. I think that's a great business model. And the stock is cheap, $19. So once again, like if you're a beginning investor, you don't want to put in, you know, $400 into Tesla or uh, $3,000 into Amazon. These are all great ETFs, you know, I would consider. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts about that. And if there's a crypto I would buy right now, I mean, Chainlink is down 8% today, but Bitcoin, man. Bitcoin and I don't know. I just really like Bitcoin, and if it goes under ten thousand, that's I don't think like if Bitcoin does go under ten thousand, it'll be the last time I feel like in our lifetime to be able to buy Bitcoin at such a low price. So we're looking at Bitcoin with a ten thousand seven hundred. If you don't own any crypto, you know this might be a good time to enter. But if you see Bitcoin under ten thousand. I really like Bitcoin under 10,000 and I and and once it goes under 10,000 it, it's most likely will. I'm I'm predicting that maybe there might be a little dip before the end of the year, but Bitcoin I I feel like won't go below 10,000 again. So that's your last opportunity to buy Bitcoin. So yeah, just check out the links. Uh I, I showed you my losses, but yeah, I have um links for Coinbase if you haven't set one up and um there's a bunch of other ones too, so you don't necessarily. I just like Coinbase; it's the most stable. And um, consider getting a Robinhood if you haven't bought stocks. And you can also buy crypto with Robinhood. And then I'll put a link for Webull. I don't think I've done it, so I think starting with this video, I'll start leaving my Webull link too, so you can do that. Um, and then there's some other uh, brokerages that will give you a lot more money. So I'll probably do it in future videos. I'll share links, but. Um, there's certain uh, brokerages that will give you a lot more than Robinhood, but you have to have cash. You have to have like over a thousand dollars. So you can do the research if you uh, want to do that, but uh, let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you guys soon.